Okay, I spent an hour walking through the woods searching for a hutch dump, but I found a more modern dump, but it's a rather large one. I mean, it's loaded with bottles. When I probe it, I smash into multiple pieces of glass every time. And I'm thinking it's a likely spot for porcelain signs. This might be a sign of some kind right here. Nope. Might even be an early 60s dump on top. But it's just so loaded, I gotta test it out. There's an embossed knee high right there. You know, those are from the 40s at least. If you just look at it hard enough, you can tell. It's solidly loaded. Right there, it's stacked about four feet high. So I'm gonna open up a hole and see what's down at the bottom. Okay, right here, this is piled up. It's probably four and a half feet thick, so I'm gonna start a hole right here. Okay, as you can see, it's loaded. I just found this. It has an old look to it with those sunken in panels around it. And it looks like a hundred year old bottle, but it's a screw top. But still, it might be from the 30s. But it uh, looks more like the 40s. Oil cans are abundant in this dump. But they can go back to the 40s at least. Yeah, gas stations must have dumped here. Mm, I think they're a little too far gone. Probably all oil cans are at this point. But 35 years ago, when I first started finding oil cans, they were in pretty decent condition. Now there's a lot, so many cans, way more cans than bottles in this dump. I've heard of a bottle dump before, but this is a can dump. Well, at least I'm getting a little bit of color. It's not the embossed kind, so it's after 1947 probably. And here's a Clorox bottle and a ball mason. Not exactly the right age, but there's so many oil cans in here. It's just a shame that they're ruined. But I'm gonna keep digging for a porcelain sign. Okay, the only can I can find that has any graphics left on it is this one. And it's an oyster tin. They seem to have stronger paint than most cans. And they're very collectible. So I might bring this one back and try and clean it up. Wow, wow, exciting. I actually found a Coke bottle. It's intact and... Undoubtedly, it's from Alexander City. No, it's actually from Anniston. That's kind of a long ways from here. I don't think I have an Anniston Coke from the 50s. So, it's getting down there pretty deep. And just 15 seconds later, I found another soda bottle. It's a Royal Crown Cola. It says Alexander City on it, but of course the paint is totally wrecked on this one. Mm, yeah, it's weird how there's so many cans, but then again, I'm not used to digging 50s dumps. 1945 is generally the cutoff date for me. Here's a piece of another soda. And here's a piece of an Alexander City Coke bottle that I just found. But why is there so many cans? Look what I just pulled off the bottom. A nice early milk. 
Well, it looks like it's from 1947 anyway. This is a 1953 and 54 dump. I checked the bottom of them and saw those dates. Unfortunately, this is just not embossed or painted. Oh well, yeah, I did find two glasses. One seems to be a beer mug or some cheap giveaway of, that simulates one. Anyway, it's just a little too new, but I've come this far, so I'm going to keep going. Found another Coke bottle. It's got to be Alexander City. Yes, it is. But undoubtedly a patent office. Yes, it's probably 1953. Okay, I found a Pepsi and a Dr. Pepper. Late 50s. But I think I'm going to start walking again and just some look for the edges of porcelain signs sticking out because I could dig here for a whole month before I found one. Okay, we've got some interesting places up here. This is the part of town that was reformatted, I assume, in the 30s. So, there's a house over here that looks like it's from the 1860s. I mean, the chimney looks that old. They could be, because even though they reformatted it, doesn't mean they had to tear down everything. Now, this giant tree got planted here probably in the early 40s around a rock squared foundation thing. I mean, this thing looks pretty damn old. Maybe even from the 30s. But it's strangling this tree because it's barely big enough to even fit in there anymore. And right behind it, we've got a fireplace and some kind of a I don't know that could be a privy foundation okay we have a wooded area close to downtown it's amazing how many woods there are multiple acres there are with so many new houses around and old houses around as well Okay, here's another hole. I haven't seen this one. Looks like a giant privy. Yeah, it's definitely soft enough to be one. Goes all the way to the handle and beyond. But I'm not feeling any glass. Probably a 1970s privy. All of them that are sunken down like this are the newer ones. The old ones are completely level and impossible to find unless you probe everywhere. Okay, here's another possible privy and we have an old house up here. I'll show you that in a minute. It certainly looks like a privy. But I don't feel anything, so... I don't know, this town has weird privies. If they are privies indeed, they are empty of bottles most of the time. Here's another interesting spot. Okay, this one is about 27 feet behind the house. In a prime location for a privy and I think 
for sure that this is one. And it feels better than any of the previews I've found in this town so far. I mean, it has a normal feel to it. And it has glass down at the three foot level. So I'm thinking this is the older one. I mean, where do you see this house? The way this thing is falling apart is crazy. I mean, look at that. That's crazy, isn't it? Wait till you see it from this side. This thing looks old. Rock foundation. Now get a load of this chimney, especially the top half of it. Now tell me that doesn't look 1800s. That is ancient looking. Hmm, what a sight. That looks like it's from the 1850s or 60s if you ask me. But it could just be that they like to use rocks around here. But look at that house. That has seen better days. It definitely should have about eight privies behind it. Unless they use the bucket system and clean it out every once in a while. But let's get back over here before it gets dark. And at least start on this privy. Okay, this is what it looks like now. I'll check back with you when I get down in there a couple feet. Well, I had to go three and a half feet down to finally see the first bottle. And what age is it going to be? I don't think it's really that old. I gotta lay down on my stomach to reach my arm down there because the hole is so narrow. Okay, uh, oh my god. It's an oil lamp. Hmm, I better open up the hole a little bit bigger. Okay, now this piece of glass definitely looks very modern. But hopefully it's not really. And this oil lamp could be very old, but it could have been used for 50 years before it got thrown away. Apparently it glued into two sections, but still looks definitely over a hundred years old. So let's keep going. This is an incredibly tight hole. I can barely even fit a shovel in there. Okay, finally I feel a bottle. So how old is it going to be? Okay, it's a patent medicine of some sort. Wow, it actually is very old. Definitely early 1900s. No embossing, but judging by the base of that, yeah, that looks like 1904. So. I guess I'm going to have to open the hole up bigger, 
because it's definitely worth continuing. Okay, I see another bottle. I've got the hole opened up. And they might have a soda. What, it's a hobble skirt Coke? Well, it's gotta be a 19, 17 or 18. Definitely has to be a 1915 patent date. Well, damn, it has a tiny nick on the base. But it's an Alexander City, and I know it's a 1915. It has to be. On this side. Yep, it's got faint embossing on this one. But it is a 1915 from Alexander City, and that's a fairly rare one. It does have a number of bruises on it though. Darn it. But overall, it's in pretty damn shape. So, that could be a $50 to $75 bottle. I don't remember how rare these are, but I know that 1915s and 23s from Alexander City are fairly rare. Okay, why does it always just about get dark right when I get into the good stuff here's another one and this one looks like a coke bottle as well damn it's so dark it's gonna be another 1915 Okay, at this level, the lighting seems to be a lot better. Wait a minute. I think it's a straight side of Coke. I better be careful. Although straight side of coast from this town are a lot more common because Wesley made them common. Okay, what is this? Now that is making me wonder real hard. That looks like a 19. 45 bottle It's got a big chip out of it because it's an old one five points That's a semi-national brand, but does it have a town name on it? Nope just contents 12 fluid ounces Hmm that is really weird There's bottles of all different ages in here a 1918 coke bottle a 1938 soda bottle and a 1908 medicine bottle. Approximate dates anyway. But now I'm wondering how the hell did that get right next to a 1915 Coke? This ground is incredibly hard all the way from top to bottom. And since I just found that late bottle that could even be from the 40s. And I'm probably... 75% of the way done. Well, actually the hole goes out to here. So I'm only probably 60% done, but I just think I'm going to call it quits because only one good bottle came out so far. 
and uh, it's just too hard and it's getting dark and I don't want to film in the dark and ruin the viewing experience for you okay I have been located another one but it's extremely sparse I don't know if I want to dig it but I think I found another one there's a definite sinkhole right here I gotta probe it out and see definitely has a certain shape to it well I might be learning a new thing about privies after 35 years but this seems like incredibly dense sand just like that last hole and this is going all the way to the handle without hitting any glass anywhere so just because it's so hard and I'm not hitting any glass doesn't mean it isn't a privy but I have several other low spots like here's another one but check this out this is one of those metal toilets that connects to a 30s outhouse but why is it underground when I mean, it's only two inches off the ground yeah there's a cement slab attached to it uh, you couldn't dig one of these even if you tried and besides if they threw bottles down there wouldn't they all just pile up all in the same spot and smash into each other and here is yet another spot I marked off because it looked like a depression no it doesn't feel good but I do have another privy located over that way of course I'll have to save that to tomorrow but it definitely has bottles in it but then again it could be a 1940s but even a 1940s privy is better than nothing